Nearly one third of the people who live in the East Midlands live in rural areas. 40% of the East Midlands VAT registered companies are based in rural areas. It's no surprise then that EMDA takes the success of the region's rural enterprises very seriously indeed. The Rural Development Programme for England is funded by DEFRA and the European Union. Land-based rural businesses stand to benefit significantly from this programme as £61 million has been made available to go towards the costs of suitable projects. Projects like Thrupp Wharf Marina in Northamptonshire, a radical new venture for wheat farmer Roy Mayo. The whole field down to the canal was just wheat. And it had been wheat, it had been continuous wheat for sort of 25 years. So we decided that we perhaps might make a bit more money out of growing boats rather than growing wheat. <laughs> The site at the bottom of Roy's farm is next to the Grand Union Canal. We had a few linear moorings along there and we had a waiting list for them. Everyone seemed to think that the site it was would be a perfect site. British Waterways thought it was a perfect site. So this is why we went ahead with it. The RDPE grant awarded by EMDA for the Thrupp Wharf Marina was just over £178,000. There is a little boat yard down the road. They sell more coke, more gas. And then, of course, they do repairs to the boats. And there are all small shops in the area have all done well out of it. The 60 Berth Marina has only been open for a matter of months, and already the signs are very promising. It's a steady income. So we're still going to keep the farm on and growing wheat and run it in conjunction with the farm. The East Midlands Development Agency is looking specifically to support and promote sustainable farming, forestry and the food sectors. The Thorpe Latimer Farm in Lincolnshire received an RDPE grant to give their livestock business a much needed boost. It's a mixed farm, so that means we've obviously arable and um, livestock. We have two pedigree herds of Lincoln Reds. We've got about 80 breeding cows at the moment. Sheep-wise, we have about 300 breeding ewes. We do have them because this is all protected by English heritage, so we can't do anything else with it but have grass. We basically used to take the animals to the abattoir for slaughter, and then we would have a butcher who was based um, about an hour away, who would actually do all the cutting, backpacking and labelling for us, and we would go once a week and collect our meat, and then sell it through farmers' markets and a few little food festivals, and a few people used to come to the farm gate. An RDPE grant of just over £45,000 has helped to fund an on-site shop and butchery. The EMDA grant really came into play for helping put the equipment in and helping it function as a butchery. So this is our walk-in chiller. Leaking red carcasses which are hanging for approximately four weeks. It's a significant part of the grant because it's one of the largest um, pieces of equipment that we've purchased and it was an area we needed to bring the butchery in house. We're now in the cutting area. This is where we do all the preparation of the meat. It comes straight off the farm. We take it, have it killed, comes back here. The, there's no wholesalers involved. Everything's straight through the farm, straight out to the customer. Ian can cut as required. We've got a lot more flexibility. We can reprocess things that come back, so we have no waste whatsoever here at all, which is the key to it, really. We've taken on, obviously, Ian, our main butcher, who's got a full-time role, and we've also had quite a few part-time helpers. We've um, been approached by quite a few small hobby farmers, if you like. They're looking at the possibility of doing butchery through our facility here. The rest of the farm is still a larger source of income than the, this butchery, but we'd hope as it builds up that it will start to be a key player in the overall business structure. Making farms sustainable is a high priority. The threat that used to hang over Waterloo Farm in Lincolnshire has now gone for good, thanks to its RDPE grant. That is a leak. <laughs> as well as leaks, Tim Dean's main crops are carrots and potatoes. Tim's reliance on irrigating his crops used to put him in a permanently fragile position. If the water tables drop, where we pump usually, the environmental agency can stop us irrigating. An RDPE grant from EMDA of over £80,000 allowed him to overcome this problem once and for all. Raising money through the bank wasn't very easy and EMDA made it, you know, there was a possibility. Tim built a 60 million gallon reservoir, which, while lying dormant and frozen in winter, comes into its own in the summer months. We've put the ring main in round the farm. It starts from here and it comes down and out to the top end of that wood and then it comes back round and up and to the back of the wood, which means we can irrigate the 1,000 acres on the farm plus 400 acres of other land we rent. It saves a lot of man hours. There's less pressure being lost having a ring main rather than having one line. The EMDA grant helped pay for this engine here. 
we shall be running two pumps on the farm now from now on rather than seven. We've extended the growing capacity of the farm and we're having to employ more people to harvest the crops. This project has secured the future of Waterloo Farm, its neighbouring farms and all who work here. EMDA wants to support projects that are aiming to improve their competitiveness, productivity and sustainability. Brunswood Farm in Derbyshire was on the brink of closure, but this family-run business became fully sustainable when they diversified into ice cream making. The core business is and always has been dairy farming. The price of milk was not covering the cost of production. Um, so things were looking pretty gloomy uh, and we knew we'd got to do something in the way of, of uh, adding value to our product. Now we're making our own milk into ice cream. We realise we're on the outskirts of Derby. There's 450,000 people in a 10 mile radius of here. So we felt that we got to do something that was people orientated. An RDPE grant through EMDA of just over £144,000 meant they could rebrand themselves as Bluebell Dairy. There's quite a lot of new technology involved um, in the ice cream production. It's got quite a lot of environmental credentials. This building here is now all one. The building would have actually slowly gone into dilapidation. The shop is really focusing on local and good quality. Another snowy day meant few visitors, but in its first year, Bluebells has had over 85,000 people through its doors. It is the ice cream that is the key to it all. Now we've got 18 staff on the payroll, so we have done an awful lot in giving employment to ladies and, and gentlemen from the local area. Without the grant, I think at this point in time, the, the farm would be going out of dairy production. The main point of it is, is it's making the farm sustainable as well. EMDA also wants to support projects that bring wider benefits to the economy, the environment and rural communities. One such project that is promoting environmental awareness is the Centre of Renewable Energy in Nottinghamshire. Ten years ago, John Strawson took the decision to start growing willow on his farm. He went on to patent a way of turning this energy crop into a high quality fuel. And we started to supply schools, the power station and our local boiler. Well this success really made us start to get a, a real interest in renewable energy. And that made a lot of inquiries come our way. EMDA's RDPE grant of £140,000 allowed John to answer these inquiries by building the centre of renewable energy. It's inspired us to go that one step further and to have this demonstration project. The fuel burning in that boiler is grown on this farm. We've got the solar panels which are for electric and then on the left hand side we've got the solar heat panels also. This is the plant room that shows all the different appliances that are basically giving hot water or electricity into the building. So what we do here, it enables us for people to touch and feel and see what a, a wood pellet boiler or a ground source heat pump or a solar panel actually looks like. Um, and, and ha what it can deliver. We're being very open about the figures so people can put their own numbers for their own situations. Core is about demonstrating the efficiencies of renewable energy and without having the assistance of the M EMDA grant through the RDPE then we would have really struggled to have this demonstration side to the building. Core also supplies another 20 jobs by providing office space to a variety of local companies. Here we have the space that's occupied by a particular tenant called Hovel Limited. The core business is always going to be farming. So what it does is enable us to do something a bit different as farmers. Since we moved into growing energy as well as food on the farm, this centre has really enabled us to push through that message and it's driven the business forward quite dramatically in that it's helped to show the marketplace that we can grow a sustainable fuel and they can see that we really do mean business. RDPE grants can contribute significantly towards the total cost of a project. Long Clawson Dairy in Leicestershire received close to two and a half million pounds towards its six million pound plans for long-term expansion. This is a cooperative dairy that's been making cheeses for a century. We dispatch about six and a half thousand tonnes a year um, and about half of our business is Stilton. At the moment, we've got short supply. We can't make enough to satisfy our customers' demands, especially on the export markets. The RDPE grant will allow the dairy to meet this new demand by focusing on several key areas of production. Uh, at the moment, we have articulated vehicles coming through a narrow entrance at the top of the site. Uh, that entrance will be diverted to the bottom of the site, which relieves the pressure uh, on the village entrance up at the top. At the moment, we unload from a, from a truck outside. 
and then load into our store. In the future, it'll be reversed onto a loading dock and automatically unloaded. We're going to put a high automated line in where it's cut, wrapped, and then straight onto the labelling system, straight out. So one straight through line, as opposed to at the moment where it's departed into two sections. These improvements will give a 25% increase in capacity. There will be considerable improvements in efficiency too. Here we're in the centre where we make our Leicestershire red cheese. This has still got the whey and the curds together. The whey actually is predominantly water. Now at the moment we, we take out the proteins but we put the rest of it down the drain as waste. Part of the grant funded project is actually to put in membranes that will finish and polish that water. We'll then treat it and reuse it as uh, boiler steam uh, throughout the dairy. That will actually reduce our water usage by about 40%. We're going to sell more cheese, we need more milk to make more cheese. Um, we'll need in the order of sort of 10 to 15 million litres of milk additional and that will be supplied by additional farmers or from our current members as we grow. We currently employ over 200 people uh, and the grant provides not only security for those but we're also looking to employ around another 12 people. It's great news. Uh, it really sets the future. Over the next four years, that expansion sets out what we'll be doing and absolutely puts us on track for the next decade. EMDA's aim is to create a flourishing region where everyone's quality of life has improved. This is why EMDA has supported dozens of projects through the RDPE. This programme runs until the year 2013, and the team want to hear from and potentially support many more projects like the ones seen. And by doing so, this vision of a flourishing region can become reality. Without EMDA, we would not have started the job and we wouldn't have finished it. They were very helpful. It's not a complicated process, it's just a detailed process. It meant that we could do everything that we wanted to do. We're confident that we have built a business that we can move forward, which the grant has obviously given us the stepping stones to do that. The Ender money has enabled us to show our passion.